Ben, another rivalry night here at the Songus Center. How much fun is it to play in this environment against this rival? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, it's a great environment, obviously, and uh, they always give us a tough game. Ryan, what a sequence there at the end of the second period. And how about your guy Luke and Ned doing a fantastic job? What have you liked the most from what you've seen from him today? Yeah, he's been our guy all year. Uh, he's a brick wall in net. The Gustav Stavs Griggles came into tonight with the best save percentage in the country. How much fun is it to play in front of him? I mean, yeah, I mean, everyone's got trust to them, right? He's, he's uh, the best goalie in the country right now, save percentage-wise, obviously. Let's check in with the third member of our broadcast team. It's Joe Weil. All right, thanks, Tyler. Well, UMass Lowell is playing arguably its best hockey of the season. They've won five out of their last six games, and there's so many reasons for that. They have the best penalty kill in Hockey East. They've gotten great goaltending as well, but one of the biggest reasons why they've been so successful as of late has been the growth of their underclassmen Eight of the last 19 goals during this 5-1 stretch have come from freshmen or sophomores. Five of them coming from freshmen. Jim earlier mentioned freshman Dylan Bentley in that game-winning goal against UMass, but Owen Fowler has contributed three goals over this stretch. And when I had a chance to talk to head coach Norm Bazan after their win against the Miniman, he said, as the old saying goes, after Christmas, the freshmen aren't freshmen anymore. And hey, Tyler and Jim, what better time than now for the Riverhawks to see their young guns rise to the occasion? It's a fun night of hockey here in Lowell, and they've given away some giveaways to the fans. It's a jersey giveaway day and also Star Wars night. This jersey here that I got in XL, I thought it would be too large for me. Turns out it's an XL for kids, so with my 5'7 frame, it actually fits me perfectly. <laughs> but the Star Wars night has been a ton of fun. A lot of people dressing up tonight saw one little girl in a Darth Vader costume, but they've been also giving away these lifesavers as well. Tyler, I can only imagine that this is what heaven must be like for you. Hockey and Star Wars all in the same place. Well, Joe, they, they told me I would get to call this game with you and a former NHL goaltender. I was like, well, what else can you do for me here? And they said, how about lightsabers? Let's check in downstairs with the third member of our team, Joe Wild. Well, Eric, it's a bit of a full circle moment for UMass head coach Greg Carville every time he comes back to Lowell. Back in 1989, Carville's first year as a player with St. Lawrence was actually against the Riverhawks at the old Tully Forum in Bill Rucka. And I asked Coach Carville before today's game if he had any memories of that game. He said it's one of the few he actually remembers. He didn't remember the final score, and who could blame him? It was roughly 33 years ago. But he did say, I fully remember tying up my skates and putting on my jersey for that game and being nervous. I don't remember a lot of my games from college, but I do remember that one. St. Lawrence did play the Riverhawks each of the next three seasons. And on the other side, suiting up for UMass Lowell, UMass Lowell head coach Norm Bay is in. Guys, back to you. There's a lot of change, obviously, for this UMass team from their title-winning season. Ten departures, including five seniors. But the guy Greg Carville calls one of the hardest-working players he's had is still here, and that's Bobby Trevino. Coach Carvalho even admitted when he talked to us before today that it will be an uncomfortable day when Bobby is not on the bench. The only guy with the same caliber of work ethic in Carvalho's mind was Mario Ferraro, of course, a former UMass player under Carvalho, now starring with the San Jose Sharks. Not a bad person to be compared to, guys. Let's send it down to the bench. Joe has Coach Norm Bazin. What an environment tonight with this rivalry game. Fans back in the stands. How satisfying is it now that you know you came away with a win? Uh, it's always great to come out with a win. I thought it was a, an excellent hockey game. It was back and forth, as you saw, and two good teams. Yeah, how impressed were with you with your team's resolve? Down 2-0, and then it was 4-3. They tie it up. You waited out through the overtime period and obviously win it in shootout. How impressed were you with your team? Yeah, that's resiliency. You know, we had last year where we persevered through a lot of uh, different stuff, challenging times, and... It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kudos to that group. There's a lot of character in that locker room. Final question for you, Coach. Just one loss over your last 12 games. What are the keys to continuing this? Well, you know what? It's uh, continuing to grow the group. It's a good group of kids, and uh, we certainly have many areas to get better, and we'll work on that tonight. All right, Coach, appreciate the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you.